Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I've got a bunch of people sending me this video through, about five or six people have sent this through to me already. If you'd like me to re react or respond to a video, send them through to my email address, which will be up here. Now, this is a very big channel, 7 million subscribers. I've actually never heard of this channel before. They've made this video, Why Meat is the Best, Worst Thing in the World. The title's a little bit, mm, is it a bit confusing, what's this gonna be about? I already watched it through a little bit. It was very interesting. Now, what I'm going to do is the first sort of five or six minutes, it feels like it's leading you in a certain direction. And then, boom, out of nowhere, it really sends you off in another direction. So the first uh, five minutes or so, we're going to skim through quite quickly. And then we're going to get to the part where I really felt the most confusion and was quite frustrated. Humans love meat. Steak, fried chicken, bacon, pork belly and sausages are just the best things. Paradoxically, meat is pretty much the most inefficient way of feeding humans. So true, meat is the most inefficient way of feeding humans. The amount of food, water, land. As vegans, we already know this. This video does a lot of um, sort of attacking the meat industry in the way that it's bad for the environment. Here we have like the planet being swallowed up. That talks about the number of animals killed, the sheer number. They actually got the land animal count correct, 74 billion. But they actually didn't include sea animals, which I was surprised. Here they go, they talk about the global fresh water consumption. Huge amounts of fresh water consumption for animal agriculture. So what they're basically doing is they're going through all the negative aspects of meat eating. They talk about humans being like gods to animals, but we're really evil gods, because here we go, they show they show how evil we are. Like, it's, it's quite interesting. There wasn't really much that I disagreed with in the first five minutes, except for the welfareist message. They did promote quite a sort of prominent welfareist message like there was somehow a better way to do it. We cut their beaks and claws. Male chickens are deemed worthless since they can't lay eggs and are not suitable for meat production. So within minutes after birth, they're usually gassed and shredded in grinders. So they're going through all of the ways that we use animals and you know, confining them, uh, mutilating them, mincing up male chicks in the egg industry. I was like, all this is good information for them to put out. It's a very, very large channel, by the way. An organic label is a way to charge more money and countless scandals have revealed producers looking for ways to cheat the system. So here they are dispelling the, or the organic kind of high welfare myth. You know, you can't really trust where your food is coming from. I put it to you like this. If the animal comes chopped up in a bag, you know, in a freezer, then Somewhere along the line, their welfare has been breached. And it was usually the point in time when they have the bolt gun and the knife across their throat. So there's no such thing in my eyes as high welfare. There's obviously less cruel ways of treating someone before you murder them. But at the end of the day, the murder is what is the cruel part. The way we treat animals will probably be one of the things future generations will look down on in disgust. And now they hit you with it. Future generations will look down on what we did to animals in the past with disgust. Wow. Amazing. While all these things are true, something else is true too. Steak is amazing. And here we are. The steak is amazing part. Now I'm not gonna deny that I used to eat animal products, burgers and cheese and eggs and, but to say after five minutes of going on about the environmental consequences, the fact that animals are treated cruelly, you know, mutilated, tortured, all of these things they went through the first five minutes of this video and then to stop six minutes in and go, Steak is amazing. I just, my mind was blown. I was like, wait a second, why does, why do all my followers want me to respond to this? It seems like a pro-vegan sort of video mostly. Burgers are the best food. Chicken wings taste great. Guess what? We've got vegan burgers that don't involve the ex exploitation, torture and murder of billions and billions of sentient animals. Doesn't involve environmental destruction or heart disease. They didn't go into the heart disease too much in this video, which is the number one killer of humans. Maybe they should have. Uh, we've got fried chicken too. Just no chickens were harmed. I mean... The last few minutes of this video is looking like an advertisement for meat. Let's keep going. Meat satisfies something buried deep in our lizard brain. Where's the evidence that meat satisfies something deep in our lizard brain? Is he allowed to just make a statement like that? Like, where's the science to support that? I mean, I feel very satisfied after eating a vegan burger. There's nothing in my lizard brain that calls out for the flesh of an innocent being. We hardly ever see how our meat is made. We just eat it and love it. Exactly. This is like, 
See, this is where I'm, I'm kind of like torn. Sort of a very strong vegan message, but promoting animal products as delicious and like we somehow need them at the same time. It's interesting how they said we, ne we hardly ever see how our meat is made. And you'll never know exactly which animal you're eating from, what their personality was like, whether they were in fear before they died. It's hidden for, from us for a reason. It creates joy. It brings us together for family meals and barbecue parties. It creates joy. Eating animal products creates joy for who? For who? Not Definitely not for the animals. Definitely not. If anyone has ever had a family member die from a heart attack or cancer, terminal illness, from eating these suffered animals, they don't experience joy. You can bring people together for a party and food that doesn't involve animals. Last time I checked, vegan food was delicious. And vegans have fun too. Eating meat doesn't make you a bad person. Not eating meat doesn't make you a good one. Uh, excuse me. So, like, consciously supporting the suffering and death of billions of animals. Consciously. I'm not saying people who are unconscious, but consciously supporting the death of billions and billions and billions of animals for an unnecessary and unjustifiable reason doesn't make you a bad person. So, I guess, like... You wouldn't have any concept of good people or bad people. Like, so if someone was abusing a dog, hitting a dog, lighting the dog's face on fire with a cigarette lighter, you wouldn't consciously call that person bad. But if someone were to defend the dog, save the dog, rescue the dog from this animal abuser, you wouldn't call that person good either. I'm not saying that people who eat animal products and are unconscious of the cruelty they are supporting are bad, inherently bad people. But I think once you know, once you see animals suffering, and you don't do anything consciously to stop that, you become complicit in something that is very bad. And then I would start to question your own morality there at that point. Life is complicated, and so is the world we've created. Yeah, but avoiding most of the suffering, cruelty, violence, torture, and death on Earth is very simple. It's not complicated. It's called going vegan. So... How should we deal with the fact that meat is extremely unsustainable and a sort of horrible torture? And a sort of horrible torture. It's like he glosses over it like it's nothing serious. Just sort of a horrible torture. Taking a meat-free day per week already makes a difference. If you want to eat meat produced with less suffering, try to buy from trusted producers with a good track record, even if it costs more. So just before he was saying you can't trust organic producers. And countless scandals have revealed producers looking for ways to cheat the system. Because there's been lots of scandals surrounding the welfare of animals and the lies people tell about their high welfare standards on their farm. Also, the fact that animals are chopped up into pieces means that you can't really trust their breeder to keep their welfare in mind when they are using them literally as a commodity and slicing their heads off. You, you spoke about a meat-free day a week and how that makes a difference. I guess, yeah, that, that, that could be better, having a meat-free day a week and then consciously support animal abuse on every other single day. But why not just go vegan? It's so easy, why not just eat plant-based? What's so hard about recommending that? To make an impact on the environment, go for chicken and pig rather than lamb and beef as they convert their feed more efficiently into meat. Why not just avoid animal products altogether? Just because chicken and pork are more efficient at converting grain into flesh doesn't mean that it is efficient. Eating the grain ourselves would be most efficient. And because the environment is going to crap and there's so many people to feed, the last thing we need to do is feed billions and billions and billions and billions of animals uh, the feed that we could be directly eating ourselves. 50% of the world's grain is fed to animals and we have people starving all over the world. Like, I mean, it's just so illogical. And they, they go through how environmentally unsustainable it is, how cruel it is, and then they start recommending certain animal products to people and just saying, have one meat-free day a week and that's all you need to do. Meat is so delicious. I love meat. We can't give up burgers. They're so nice and everything's so tasty. Such a confusing message in this video. And if you're going to have your steak, you should eat it too. If you're going to have your steak, you should eat it too. Where is this going? An average American throws out nearly a pound of food per day 
a lot of which is meat. If you're worried about the efficiency of our food system, maybe we should stop feeding tons and tons and tons of resources to an animal for a one piece of their flesh. Isn't it something like 16 kilograms of plant food to one kilogram of beef? That's the conversion rate. Wouldn't it make more sense just to eat the one kilogram of grain or vegetable or whatever it is? And they go from telling you how inefficient and cruel it is to recommending people eat it and appetizing it. Just insane. In the future, science could get us clean meat. Various startups have successfully grown meat in labs. Now, the thing with lab meat is that it's not always animal free. A lot of these places use serum, which comes from animals. Lab meat can theoretically be done in an ethical way. If they took one biopsy, they never harmed the animal and they created an infinite amount of meat from that one biopsy. I've heard super meat with a concept they haven't put any, anything really into action. They've got a concept that doesn't harm animals, just takes one biopsy. But guess what? We've already got plant-based alternatives to meat which taste absolutely delicious. And there's really no need to wait for lab meat to get to the stage where, you know, it's economically viable when we have plant-based alternatives to meat right now. But solutions like this are still a few years away. For now, enjoy your steak but also respect it. Solutions like this are a few years away. There's a solution right now called veganism staring you right in the face and I can't believe you've glossed completely over that this whole time. Veganism is the answer. For now, eat the abused corpse of a sentient animal that wanted to live, that's inefficient for the environment, that's causing the number one killer heart disease and respect it. It's like if you respect the corpse of someone, it somehow exonerates the fact that they were bolt gunned and slashed in the throat and had their life stolen from them. No, there is nothing to do with respect in a piece of flesh from a murdered animal. Nothing to do with respect. And if you can, make it something special again. Make it something special again? What, like turn it back into the beautiful sentient animal from which it was torn? How about that? That would make the flesh special if we could somehow reverse the killing and leave the animal be. That would be beautiful. We would love that. Can you do that? We have something else for you that's also special and tastes even better than steak. We get asked a lot how we make our videos. Okay, so then they go on for the rest of the video to some other type of advertising. Blah, 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 blah. I'll leave the video link down below. You know what I mean at the start of the video when they're going into all the environmental damage that meat causes and stuff like that. And you're sort of like, wow, is this a pro-vegan video? Is this a pro-vegan video? And then all of a sudden, boom. No, it's not a pro-vegan video. There's many good points they make and it does create a lot of awareness about these topics, but then they don't offer the solution, which is why everyone's so confused. Maybe I'll have a meatless Monday where I don't, you know, stab animals on one day of the week. Maybe I'll respect the steak that I do have and not throw it in the bin and make sure we eat it. You know, how about go vegan? It's so simple. Plant-based nutrition is now scientifically proven to be superior in every way, okay, to consuming animal products with cholesterol, saturated fat, causing cancer, heart disease, diabetes, all of these health problems, destroying the environment, harming animals, we have veganism right here. It's so frustrating. It's right here for everyone to see here. Veganism, look. And, you know, massive channels like this who are like, oh my God, are they going to go into, are they going to say eat plant-based? Are they going to? No? Are they? No, they don't. But I guess what the vegan community should do is all respond to this video and call out the nonsense and say, hey, get in the comment section and go, hey, why not just go vegan? What's with all this, you know, talking about all the bad points of animal agriculture and not facing the elephant in the room or the cow in the room or whatever animal that's in the room and saying, hey, here it is, veganism. It's right here. We have the solution. We've had it for years. Many of us are following uh, the solution right now. And if you're watching this video and you're not yet vegan, you should follow the solution too. Because in my bio, and I'll leave it in the comment section pinned as well, will be a vegan challenge. You can follow the link. It's free and you can try it out for 22 days. Go vegan for 22 days. See how you like it. Try the vegan burgers. They'll give you all the advice you need, Challenge 22 it's called, and you can see how you go. And you don't have to support any of this violence, cruelty, stuff that's destroying the environment and that's bad for your health. And what do you guys think in the comment section of this video? So many people sent it to me. They wanted me to respond to it. If you want me to respond to another video, send it to my email. I'll see you all in the next video. That was very frustrating to watch. I hope you're all good and I'll see you soon. Peace.